Question 16. What are the conditions to be satisfied for the application of a thermal circuit? Answer. The problem must be a steady state. One dimensional heat transfer problem. Question 17. Define and state the physical interpretation of the BO number. Answer. The BO number is given by by equals HL slash K, where H equals convective heat transfer coefficient, K equals thermal conductivity, L equals characteristic length. It is a ratio of the temperature drop in the solid material and the temperature drop the solid and the fluid. So when the by less than less than 1, most of the temperature drop is in the fluid and the solid may be considered isothermal. Question 18. Define overall heat transfer coefficient. Answer. The overall heat transfer coefficient is defined in terms of the total thermal resistance between two fluids. If there are a number of thermal resistances between the two fluids, the overall heat transfer coefficient is given by u equals 1 slash senior. Question 19. You might have observed early morning frost on a clear day even when the minimum air temperature during the night was above 0 degrees Celsius on a clear day. The effect of sky temperature can be as low as minus 45 degrees Celsius. Explain how such frost formulation takes place. Answer. The frost is created because of radioactive losses to the sky. Question 20. How is natural convection different from forced convection? Answer. In natural convection, the movement of the fluid is due entirely to density gradients within the fluid. For example, hot air rises over cold air. There is no external device or phenomenon which causes fluid motion. In forced convection, the fluid is forced to flow by an external factor. For example, wind in the atmosphere, a fan blowing air, water being pumped through a pipe. Typically heat transfer under forced convection conditions is higher than natural convection for the same fluid. Question 21. What is the range of values for the emissivity of a surface? Answer. The emissivity ranges between 0 and 1. Question 22. State the condition which must be satisfied to treat the temperature distribution in a fin as one-dimensional. Answer. When height slash k less than less than 1 where h is the convective heat transfer coefficient, t is the thickness of the fin and k is the thermal conductivity of the fin, one can consider that the temperature gradient in the thickness direction is very small and the analysis can be considered as one-dimensional. Question 23. What is a lump system? Answer. A lumped system is one in which the dependence of temperature on position, spatial dependence, is disregarded. That is, temperature is modeled as a function of time only. Question 24. A greenhouse has an enclosure that has a high transmissivity at short wavelengths and a very low transmissivity, almost opaque, for high wavelengths. Why does a greenhouse get warmer than the surrounding air during clear days? Will it have a similar effect during clear nights? Answer. Solar radiation is skewed towards shorter wavelengths. On a clear day the glass of the greenhouse admits a large proportion of the incident radiation. Inside the greenhouse, the various surfaces, plants etc. reflect the radiation. But the reflected radiation is spectrally different, having more of a high wavelength contribution. Thus the reflected radiation is not transmitted well by the glass and is reflected back into the greenhouse. The interior heats up due to the strapped radiation. The same effect will not be seen on a clear night since there is no solar radiation. Question 25. Define a view factor? Answer. A view factor is defined in the context of two surfaces A and B. It is defined as the fraction of radiation leaving A which is incident directly on surface B. A view factor must be defined in terms of surface A to surface B. FAB. Question 26. What is the effect of the Prandtl number of a fluid on the relative thicknesses of velocity and temperature boundary layers when the fluid flow is parallel to a flat plate? Answer. For laminar flow, the ratio of the boundary layer thickness T to that of the thermal boundary layer, dT, is given by d slash dT n. The higher the Prandtl number, the larger is the ratio. Question 27. What is internal energy generation? Give examples where internal energy generation occurs. Answer. Internal energy generation is the generation of heat within a body by a chemical, electrical or nuclear process. Examples are the heating of a nuclear fuel rod, due to fission within the rod, the heating of electrical wires, due to the conversion of electrical to heat energy, microwave heating and the generation of heat within the earth. The heat generated in each case is being converted from some other form of energy. 
Question 28. What do you understand by the terms fully developed velocity and temperature profile regions in internal flow? Answer. In the fully developed region, the cross-sectional velocity slash temperature profile is of a constant shape at any axial location, thus the profile has ceased to change. Also there is no radial component of velocity i.e. every particle of fluid is flowing purely in the axial direction. Question 29. What is a gray surface? Answer. A gray surface is defined as one for which the emissivity E and the absorptive A are independent of wavelength L. Question 30. Both the Nusselt number and the Bio number have the same form. What are the differences between them in terms of the variables employed and their physical significance? Answer. Both the Bo number and the Nusselt number are of the form HL slash K. However, for the Bo number, the thermal conductivity K used is that for the solid. For calculating Nusselt number the K value as that of the fluid, the Bo number is a measure of the ratio of the temperature drop in the solid material and the temperature drop between the solid and the fluid. The Nusselt number is a dimensionless version of the temperature gradient at the surface between the fluid and the solid and it thus provides a measure of the convection occurring from the surface.